My name is Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent, a teaching instructor with the IRS. I uh, have worked about 10,000 cases. I've been doing this since uh, 1973. I'm a national expert in IRS tax resolution. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I've got a bunch of uh, members now, subscriptions, so um, I'm glad I'm giving you the information that you need. You know, as a former IRS agent, um, I did a lot of things. I was a collector, worked narcotic trafficking, and one of the things I did before I left, I was a teaching instructor, and one of the teaching instructor roles I had was to go ahead and work the offer and compromise program and teach other people what you have to look for and how you can be successful in doing that work at IRS. I've accepted offers at IRS. I've denied more offers than I've accepted because people don't know how to fill the forms out. So what I want to do to you is today is to talk to you about how do you pick a good offer and specialized uh, offer and compromise specialist you know, to do your work. Some people like to work local where they could see, touch, walk in a brick and mortar. Other people don't mind going virtual. You know, our firm specializes in the offer and compromise. Uh, for instance, for us, I don't even take an offer and compromise uh, unless I know for sure I can get your offer approved. Um, you have to be able to do that because if you have a lot of experience and you filed a lot of, form of offers, you're going to know what's going to go through, why they are. So if you're trying to choose somebody, you know, local or or more natural, uh, you want to stay away from the big resolution firms. The big resolution firms have people come and go, and I'm not trying to be self-patronized here myself, but at the end of the day, uh, I just want this to make sense to you. Um, find a former IRS agent, but listen, listen, listen. You don't look for someone who is in the audit division. You look for someone who is in the, the collection division. You have to find out how many offers they worked. You've got to understand if they show you their finance, if you show them their financial statement, they're going to let you know ahead of time what your problems are, what you need to fix, what you need to correct, and when the best time to submit the offer. You want to always submit the offer when you're doing the worst. If you had a couple big sales, you want to settle your case, it just you just dropped your chances just tremendously because you have to give IRS, listen to me, you must give Internal Revenue Service the total liquidity you have in your assets. You have $100,000 worth of assets, your home is discounted 20%. IRS wants $100,000, they're not going to settle for any less. So some of the questions that you need to ask is, how long have you been doing this? After that, how many situations like mine have you got through? What is the average settlement? Can you tell me what the offer formula is? How long is it going to take? By the way, if they tell you it's less than a year, it's over. It's a year. So you want to ask these experience and drill down on them. One of the cautions that I tell you is taking people who have not worked for the IRS because these are people who've taken cases, they've sent them in the IRS, and every offer becomes a learning experience. Well, they did this in this case. They didn't do this in this case. A very special document because it's an actual covenant and a legal acceptance of your taxes. By the way, all offers and compromise are get on public record for 18 months after. And by the way, there's a pre-qualifier tool. You can go to the IRS and ask for the pre-qualifier tool for offer and you can kind of walk through the basic formula. But understand uh, the offer and compromise is really, really a specialty within itself. I think last year or about 80,000 offers accepted. I think IRS accepted 18 for an average settlement of 16. That average settlement of 16 has nothing to do with the case. It's all about your case. There's two things IRS is very uh, are going to drill down on. What is your liquidity value and what is your income versus your expenses? They're going to want to make sure want to make sure you're staying within their standard of living that you find on the website. So if IRS says in your area you only live on 5000 a month and you're making six, you just you just raise the hell out of your offer and compromise. So remember, check your person out. Talk to them. Talk to three people. See what all three people say. Make sure you're going to get a free initial consultation. When you call these big firms, they want a $500 or $1,000. You know, if any offer specialist worth their salt, can look at your financial statement and tell you within literally within 10 seconds whether your offer and compromise is going to go through. So be wise, choose, speak to a couple people. We're always here for you. Thank you very much for listening to the videos. If you would, there's a subscribe button. I don't know what
but if you could subscribe to us, it helps us. It kind of pushes us up the ranking. Somehow YouTube thinks the more subscriptions, more people listen. I thank you. By the way, leave comments. I'm happy to, you can call me, uh, send me an email. You're welcome to go ahead and just leave in the comments section, and I'll try to get back with you. Thank you very much.